Truly a delight for the country's economic managers and the president on today's inflation report for September that hit sub-2% figures, the lowest since the pandemic hit over four and a half years ago. Credit the 1.9% inflation mark to a slowdown in the cost of food, power, transportation and housing as our Joshua Garcia reports. Inflation rate in the Philippines dropped to 1.9%, according to data for the Philippine Statistics Authority, or PSA, for the past month of September. This is the lowest rate recorded since May 2020, significantly lower than the 3.3% in August 2024 and 6.1% in September 2023. The year-to-date average inflation from January to September stands at 3.4%. According to PSA Chairperson Dr. Claire Dennis Mapa, this is due to slower increases in the prices of food, beverages, and transportation. Lower inflation in housing, water, electricity, and gas also contributed to the overall slowdown in price increases. So based on the computation, it's again, it's a combination, pero parang substantial yung, combina- uh, yung uh, impact ng pagbaba talaga ng presyo dun sa mga uh, other items, lalo na negative sila uh, relative to the base uh, effect. But base effect, because of the computation, really has uh, uh, impact on the 1.9%. In Metro Manila, inflation also dropped to 1.7% from 2.3% in August, driven by slower price increases in housing and transportation. Meanwhile, outside NCR, inflation also slid to 2% from 3.6% in the previous month. The Ilocos region recorded the lowest inflation rate at 0.6%, while Western Visayas had the highest at 3.4%. Bumaba yung inflation rate natin, ibig sabihin lang nun, bumagal yung uh, pagtaas ng ating uh, presyo ng uh, mga bilihin. Uh, pero kung titingnan natin yung mga individual items or uh, some group of items, mayroon talagang bumagsak, negative. Ibig sabihin, talagang bumaba yung presyo niya. So anong example nito, yung transport, gasolina, diesel, kamati, so yun, mga negative yun. Uh, but overall, uh, ito ay 1.9% overall, ibig sabihin lang nun, tumaas pa rin pero sa mas mabagal na uh, antas. Comparing September 2024's 1.9% inflation rate to last year's 6.1% for September, this shows a significant reduction in the rate of price increases for goods and services over the past year. Meanwhile, according to the National Economic and Development Authority or NEDA, the government continues to push measures to stabilize the prices of essential goods, such as the implementation of Executive Order No. 62, which lowers rice tariffs, more agricultural investments, and widening the coverage of the Pantawid program. The ongoing fight against African swine fever, or ASF, and the passage of the Anti-Agricultural Economic Sabotage Act, which aims to combat hoarding and other illegal activities, are also part of these efforts. NEDA also stated that the government is prepared to face the effects of La Nina, to maintain affordable prices for basic commodities. Joshua Garcia from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines.